Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video, and for this video I will be talking about how you can get a free lightsaber pike. Now before I actually get into the content of this video, I just want to quickly say that this video will contain minor content, uh, minor Kotet spoilers. So if you have not played through the Knights of the Eternal Throne all the way up to chapter 9, you might want to come back to this video at a later date because... Um, both the content of this video and the footage I'll be showing will contain some Kotet spoilers, but for those of you who want to risk it anyway, I'll try to minimize the amount of Kotet spoilers I make. But onto the actual content of the video, I'll first I'll talk about how you can gain access to a free light super pike due to a glitch in the game right now, and then I'll talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages of using this. Now this is using Lord Dramat's Force Pike, so if you already know about this method, you already um, you know have gained it and stuff, I know a lot of people already know about this glitch, then you can go ahead and click off the video because this is kind of just a tutorial for those people who don't um, who don't know what this is and basically don't know that they can have a free force pike. In chapter 9 of Knights of the Eternal Throne, you gain Lord Dramath as a temporary companion who helps you out in the final boss fight. Now the weapon of choice for Lord Dramath is a force pike which is almost an identical replica of Senia's lightsaber pike which is really the only officially obtainable lightsaber pike in the game. It is a platinum drop from cartel packs meaning it sells for insane amounts on the GTN and it's pretty much unobtainable for the average player. When you reach the final boss battle all you simply have to do is open your character sheet, go to companion and then take away Lord Dramat's Force Pike. So obviously there's a glitch in the game right now where you can actually use that Force Pike on your own character. Uh, you can use it regardless of what character you are as long as you can basically wield a lightsaber. So you can, you can have it on your Juggernaut, your Marauder, or your Assassin, or your Sork. They all hold it in the same way that an Assassin would hold a Dual Saber, but you can still use all of your abilities and everything, which is really interesting. As you guys can see, I'm using basically all of my abilities to fight Valen here. I'm using Saber Throw and everything, and all my abilities are still activating. But since this is a glitch, some of the abilities look really weird. Like for example, when I throw my Saber Throw, he doesn't actually throw the Saber Pike, just a random blade comes flying out of it. But nonetheless, it is really, really cool. And that's basically how you gain access to it. There are a few restrictions. Firstly, you obviously need to finish Knights of the Eternal Throne all the way up to Chapter 9. And secondly, there is a specific choice you have to make in Chapter 7 when you're on Nathema and you gain access to the Holocron. Uh, there is a dark side option and a light side option. The light side option is to release Lord Dramath and the dark side option is to keep him in. If you made the dark side option, then you will be able to use the Force Pike because he will show up again to help you in the final boss battle. However, if you made the light side option, uh, I think if you release him, he does not actually show up to help you out in the final boss battle, which does mean you won't be able to gain access to his lightsaber pike. Now, I have not personally tried that, uh, but that's what I've heard on Reddit and stuff like that. So it's unfortunate if you made the light side option, but if you made the dark side option, it should work for you. And if you have not already used it, you can simply just go replay the chapter and um, reach that point. It takes about 15 minutes to reach that boss battle, and then you can get the lightsaber pike. Now onto some of the advantages and disadvantages of using this. Uh, the disadvantages of using it is that firstly, when you you can't uh, sheath it. So when you put it on your back, the force bike itself actually disappears. So it won't stay there on your back. However, once you have it unsheathed, it obviously looks exactly like a force bike, so it's pretty cool. Uh, the other disadvantage is there's obviously no mods in it, which means you cannot actually use it to fight. You could, as, as you could have seen, all of your abilities work, you still do damage and stuff, but obviously since there are no mods in the stats, there are no stats I don't think anyway, so you won't be doing much damage at all. However, just because you can't use it in PvP or PvE or whatever does not mean it has absolutely no use, because the advantage is it looks aesthetically very nice, and since a lot of this game has to do with vanity and just having aesthetic items, you can still walk around on fleet and have your force pike. You can also change the lightsaber crystal. So if you want to have your white crystal or whatever crystal uh, you like to use, you can still change it and it will change the color of the crystal on the weapon. So that's kind of its main use, just to have it aesthetically to show off on the fleet and stuff that, hey, I have a force pike. And it's pretty awesome for those people who don't have, you know, the 50, 60, 70 million credits to buy a Senia's lightsaber pike off the GTN. You can go ahead and still get this free force pike just by playing Kotet, and that way you can still show off that you have a lightsaber pike. Now, I'm not sure when Bioware will patch this up, because there was actually a similar uh, glitch, which was Arkans lightsaber. So you could actually take away Arkans lightsaber in the same way you can take away Dramat's force pike and use it on yourself or whatever you wanted to do with it. And Bioware was very quick to patch that up, and they did. However, Lord Dramat's force pike was still a glitch back then as well. So I'm not sure why they selectively chose to just patch Arkans lightsaber and didn't fix Lord Dramat's uh, force pike. I, well, I'm not sure whether they knew about it then, but they definitely should know about it now because a lot of people have made videos on it. It's been on Reddit like two or three times 
and uh, and Bioware just hasn't done anything about it. I would assume that they would patch it up in Janu on January 13th or whatever when the new patch 5.1 is going to hit. So you still have a lot of days to get access to this and use it and um, and yeah, show off that you have a four spike. So that is the end of this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to end up using this and if you have the right requirements like finishing Kota and having made the right dark side choice, then I do hope you guys go and enjoy your four spike. I'll see you in the next one.